Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is the interior of the Untitled Goose Game townhouses. So this left a lot to the imagination, but it also didn't because the townhouse on the very end with the most simple yard is the house that the goose run throughs. And so I made my goose run through a few times, did laps, and with that, I was able to screenshot some angles of the house through the windows and did my best to put furniture where I could see it existed in the game and then try to work out the rest of the room around that. So now I'm putting in these red curtains, which is of course what I was peeking through to try to make those decisions. Um, I made a table with a particularly uh, bulbous lamp and two levels and a chair with curved arms and a small table that you're able to see through the windows. Um, this particular townhouse was kind of interesting because there were a lot of lamps uh, that you could see and these two chairs that just kind of faced the room and you'd guess that there maybe would be a TV there or something traditionally. Um, but it's a very small space so I decided that this household would probably just make use of that and they would have onlookers for the kitchen and then I did a little stairwell up that you're seeing being built now. Um, and then the dining chair table actually goes against that. Um, what was fun for me about this also was um, not just trying to choose a swatch of green, thinking I could get away with this one that you see now, and then abandoning it because it did not look good with the darkness of everything else, is envisioning the story that was this family um, in this house because we don't see these characters in the game we just get to run through their house and maybe get mail or something thrown out after us if we carry it through the house um so what i came to the conclusion of was that this townhome not the big townhome i'm fixing the roof of but the one on the end that that townhome was home to two like an elderly couple and that their granddaughter had been in maybe some car accident or something with her parents, aka the occupants' children, and the occupants had, er, <laughs> the parents had passed. And so they just took her in because they're her family, and of course they will. Um, but they live in this small town home, and maybe they don't have enough money for that right now. So they renovate the shack over the years best they can, and it make it really comfy for her. And that's why the yard has like no plants in it because they just want to give her the space to like be her energetic self and run around in. Um, now I'm doing the exterior of Pink Town House. You'll notice that the windows are not lined up from the top floor to the bottom floor. That is true to the game. I promise you that part was a detail I made sure of. And uh, here I'm actually adding something that wasn't true to the game. Right after I said I was being so faithful, which is I added like the columns to the exterior of the townhouses to kind of um, define them a bit more in their own right because they just looked like they bled over too much to me and as faithful as I wanted to be I felt like I could get away with one thing that was intentionally not faithful and I chose that. Um, so yeah, I'm adding in details I may have forgotten to place. Last game. earlier wall building, specifically the exteriors. I don't know why that wall showed up there in the town home yard, but it did, and I do get rid of it because <laughs> I looked over things a lot. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and then also for the town home that is the one that you run through the one on the end, uh, the windows are supposed to be green. There were not green windows that matched the rest of the windows on the other townhouses, so I just went with grey. Did my best. Uh, this is a part of the townhome we do not see in the Goose game, but based on what the backyard looked like, I kind of guessed what the aesthetic would be for the front yard, and I'm pleased with it. I will now keep quiet unless I find a reason to speak. Okay, I am back, and you may be thinking, oh, 
so soon. And the reason for that is because I've begun the shack that occupies the lower half of the Last Town Homes backyard. Um, so this shack, you can't see it fully in the game. You just kind of see it when you're swimming down the river and a little bit of the roof and other areas. So, um, unfortunately did not record me decorating the interior, but basically imagine two grandparents taking whatever cozy valuables they have, gussing up a shack, giving it good lighting, and then allowing a little girl to decorate it to her heart's desire. That is what it looks like. The photos at the end. Uh, I hope you're still enjoying this, if you are enjoying it at all. So we are now getting into the part where I'm about to begin adding not lots of plants, but certainly plants. And I absolutely add a ton of plants to anything I build. I also seem to not really add PBs and justify that in some way, but for this build I felt plants had a bit of a storytelling element in that their yard is pretty empty but they had the shed and so that ties into this idea of the shed being occupied by the granddaughter but the family just does really like plants, they like nature, they like that it's, you know, homey and bright and so they do fill up their space inside with plants because they want their outside to be free of space for the girl to run around and kick her soccer ball and there be no he he hard feelings about maybe a rude rose bush. So let's hope it doesn't go soaring over the fence into that other yard. Um, as for the bathrooms, um, across the three townhomes I tried to use the same appliances, like at least the sinks and whatnot because I imagined that they were all built at the same time, but maybe different owners painted different things. There was also a small detail downstairs of adding a little picture at the end of the staircase of a man and a woman. Granted, it is like a old timey painting, but I sized it down in part to lessen that and go off the fact that those were maybe the girl's parents and the grandparents you know, one of their children is in that photo, as is their spouse. Here are more plants. I have such a sweet spot for putting in sized down plants all clustered together around one larger thing. Um, yeah, see you next voice blurb.
So we have now entered the second town home, the one which belongs to the artist with a very cool garden. And yeah, I had fun. I went for colors that probably look significantly more saturated than someone just looking at the goose game would assume, but do remember that the goose game has a rather pastel palette to it. I felt this woman just had fun. Um, yeah, she's eclectic, she's bright, and if it makes her smile, it's worth it. It belongs in her space. So I had fun playing with ways to separate color and kind of zone things off. I did that by curtains. So I just imagined if she wanted to have a lot of friends over, kind of make a space a little bit more moody, she would just close the curtains. Um, yeah, and it also let me sort of have an open floor plan without having walls. Uh, the difficulty with this was just uh, there isn't any guide from the game itself, no peaks in the windows that let me know what this might look like. So I could just gotta have fun, but there wasn't even a single hint about what the layout was, and I'm not the best at layouts, so <laughs> curtains were a comfort. I also just had a lot of fun with this really cool lamp. I think that this woman is probably so crafty and figured out a way to make this cool foresty table and eventually as you'll see she kind of goes into making it kind of like an in the clouds pastel forest dream center with of course mismatched chairs. So we're now getting to the point that I realize I should furnish upstairs and that I didn't leave room for stairs. Um, and you did see how long I spent with all that wall and table stuff. So naturally, I put in a ladder. You may ask, how does this woman lug all her things, including art easels, up and down that ladder? And my answer to you is just magic because it can be. Okay, so something to know is that this woman's bathroom ends up being nuts. She is eclectic. She likes bright things, and I understand that I decorated this, and it is nuts. It is rainbow, I did use a clown painting, and if it hurts your eyes, I get it. It hurts mine too. However, it's bright. I really think she would do this, and I think she would like it, and I think her friends would think it was fun. We've now reached the final part of this townhome, which is her bedroom, and oh my gosh, I had such a hard time choosing paint because 
there are so many patterns in The Sims that people just don't really use. And I was discovering all these things that I had never gone through and I did cut out quite a bit of that just because it was so much. I understand there are other areas of this video that I definitely should probably cut down a little bit more, but I am not the best editor and I try. That being said, all that's really left at this town home are the little details, all her art things that she loves, mementos, and maybe a little bit more lighting. We are now onto the final townhome, and this was maybe the most difficult for me, I think, yes. There's something about people who are elegant, very elegant, very clean cut and crisp, that can be hard to match. Um, because you can lean into like the marble and the Greek statues and that's a bit too much for some people and so you'll see me here struggling to even figure out if I'm doing cool tones or warm tones and eventually realizing that maybe there's a happy medium and that can look really elegant and that the name of the game actually isn't to try to make it look fancy, it's to try to make it look clean. Clean, crisp, less is more, fresh. Also, as a note on this guy's appliances, they're different than the other townhomes. The plumbing is the same, but I gave him a different stove is the main thing because I feel like changing fridges is a bit more normal. But I gave him a different stove because I felt that this guy probably had more wealth. He just liked his home, happy here. And why wouldn't you? It's a gorgeous place. But yeah, I gave him a very nice stove because I felt like he would do that. I am about to spend a silly amount of time picking out carpets, and the reason for it is, again, I am not the best at layouts, but I had to make it work, and I felt like there was probably a way to divide the space by floors using a cool rug that would look a bit better than if I just did um, like carpet for the game with how close it was to the kitchen. Maybe that was a silly thought, but what I eventually end up adjusting the rug into, I quite like. These curtains were a little bit of a mess because they would try to latch onto one of the windows and I did not like that and I truly did not want to go and reposition all the windows after all the work I'd done on the shelving and all else. Then at least for the bottom I was somewhat spared because I realized that from the exterior of the Rose House you can see that there are not any curtains, so I could just say, meh, don't need them. Uh, upstairs I did do some from Get Famous.
at this point, as you can see, I'm just peppering the details with roses and other things I think are kitchen necessary while also looking very clean. More roses. One more rose will go in the corner right there on a green pedestal to bring out that little book over the bookshelf. And I pick out this really sleek table for the kitchen. Nice work, kid. Now we are doing the upstairs, and this is the last part of these townhouses. I was so excited to see it all come together. I did end up decorating all that I could on the lot that was visible area of Goose Game. Did decide not to do some houses to the south of the lot, or I guess below the backyards, because eh, not necessary. This bed, though, gave me a hard time. I just didn't know what would be a good look for him, and I was still kind of struggling with what tones were going to be really enriching this place. I finally landed on something. I think it, as I said, looked nice, sleek, crisp, fresh, whatever the heck else I said. I will leave you with those words for the remainder of the video. I hope you enjoy this. Photos at the end. Have a wonderful day, week, whatever you're up to. Hang in there. <laughs>